Starting in 2017, Solid Signal completely revamped how we do antenna testing. The result is a much more consistent experience that's going to help you choose the antenna that you need quickly and easily. Of course, our tech support's there if you have any questions as well. The problem is simple. All these antennas look completely different. How do you know which one is best for you? How can you figure it out? We do all the instrumented testing for you to make sure that you have all the data that you need to choose an antenna. The Televez H45 Advanced Spectrum Analyzer. We're very grateful to the folks at Televez for supplying this $10,000 signal meter that gives you everything that you could possibly hope for in measuring an antenna. The Televez H45 Spectrum Analyzer gives you both signal strength and signal to noise ratio. This is important and I'll explain why in a minute. It automatically records and charts an antenna's entire performance and it gives you extremely consistent results. Let's take a look at one of the charts that you'd see and I'll explain from top to bottom everything that you're looking at. This is a typical antenna plot. We do all our testing at our Southern California test facility at a distance of about 60 miles from the tower. Why so far away? To make sure that your performance is probably going to be better than ours. This is a worst case scenario. Because we don't have a full set of dipole antennas to work with, we start with bare wire bent at a 90 degree angle at a length of one meter to simulate a typical antenna. Then we test the actual antenna and give you the results relative to how well the bare wire performed. If it's an amplified antenna, we give you both unamplified and amplified results if possible. Some antennas will not work at all in unamplified mode. We give you the results in decibels, higher numbers are better. A number that's below zero, in other words a negative number, says that this antenna actually performed worse than three feet of bare wire. And finally, we show you the results across the entire spectrum. Everything under 213 is VHF, everything higher is UHF. When we take a look at this antenna plot, we see an antenna that performed very well in VHF but didn't perform very well at all in UHF. If this is an amplified antenna, we show you what the total amplifier gain is. There's really only one thing that you need to know about this and is what happens at the end of the plot. You want to see that line there not be a whole lot lower at the end than it is at the beginning. If it drops off significantly at the end, that means there isn't enough slope compensation and it means that high frequencies are going to get lost. That may not be in a, as much of a problem in the future, but today it certainly is. This is a chart showing signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio is much more important than raw signal strength when it comes to measuring digital signals. It's the measure of how much signal is there compared to the background radiation. Because a digital signal is just ones and zeros, it doesn't matter its raw strength, whether that one is very, very big or very, very small. What matters is whether or not you can tell it's a one at all. And that's what signal to noise ratio shows you. If it's an amplified antenna, we're going to show you unamplified and amplified results whenever possible. Instead of showing frequencies, we're showing actual channel numbers because with signal to noise ratio, the Televez meter goes ahead and tunes every single channel that it can, actually locks it in, and then measures how well the signal is coming in. That's the only way you're going to get an accurate result. A high number in these bars is going to tell you that no matter what you do, you're going to get a great signal. A low number means you may get no signal at all. Anything in this green range means that you're probably okay no matter how many times you split the signal, no matter how much amplification, within reason, you're going to be okay. Anything in the yellow range means you're probably okay with a single television, but once you start splitting that signal or running a whole bunch of cable, you might be in trouble. And anything in this red range means, you know, a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and you might not get anything at all. So let's take another look at this chart. What you see is that in the amplified range, you know, you're getting a whole bunch of channels here. It's doing pretty well for you. But in the unamplified range, 
Even though there's a bunch of channels that come in 31 through 51, you're probably not going to get them because they're in the yellow and red range. This antenna is going to do great for you in VHF, but it's not going to do very well for you in UHF. That's what this chart is really showing you. We're happy to present these signal strength measurements for every new antenna that we test. If you have any questions, give us a call. 877-312-4547.